Hello everyone, it's Maxim here and welcome to episode 3 of my one unit series. Um, in today's episode we're going to take a look at how effective raiding with wall breakers is. I'm going to be using 100 level 5 wall breakers in each raid and the wall breakers are level 5 with 42 hit points. Their training cost is 3000 elixir for each wall breaker and they deal out 46 damage a hit normally but of course when there's a wall available they will go for it instantly and their attack damage is increased by 40 times when they attack walls so they deal out 1840 damage for each wall they attack. Um, I'm not going to use any spells to boost these wall breakers, uh, I'm just going to show you guys the effect of a wall breaker only raid and I hope you'll enjoy it. For our first raid we are attacking PG Mansigi um, and deploying the wall breakers at the bottom. It's not that effective because you can see he has quite a lot of traps and bombs and stuff. So I dropped like two uh, rays of wall breakers and then I dropped them all at once just to get them deeper into the base. So you can see they are uh, outlined in a little formation. A uh, hundred wall breakers and I didn't even deal out 1% uh, of damage so that's really not worth it. Um, I did get some loot but it's really not worth it. It's like uh, I think 7k gold and 7k elixir or something so you shouldn't be raiding with wall breakers. Um, then for our second raid we're attacking shock vsh and I just dropped them all around the base to attack. Um, I destroyed a lot of walls but I really didn't get anything. I did deal out like 2% of damage but it's really not worth it. Uh, I didn't get any loot from this either so as you can see wall breakers are not effective at all so I shouldn't be using them. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fall Breaker Only Raids. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave it a like and a rating. Uh, subscribe for more and I'll see you guys uh, in the next video, episode, whatever. Bye-bye.